Okay, now I'm going to show you how FlowPro Designer calculates and recalculates the heating and cooling loads here every time you make a change. So let's drop in a window. Remember how to do that. Left click, touch it to the wall, click and release. And as we drop in the window, the heating and cooling load changes. Drop in a door. Again, you can see how the heating and cooling load is following everything that we're doing. If we make the room or the space smaller by dragging this wall in, again, the program is recalculating everything so you don't have to do it. Now, sometimes these numbers right here are difficult to see. It's very easy to make them larger or change the fonts. You double left click here, and this brings up the annotation box. Click this box here, override default font. Click here on font, and now you can see you can change the font type, the font style. I'm going to change this to 14 to make it just a little bigger. You can even change the color if you want to. I push OK here. I push OK here, and you can see how now it's much easier to see. And that's how the program calculates heating and cooling loads and how you can change the fonts. And if you want to move this around, just left click on it. Hold the left click mouse down, and I can move it to anywhere on the project. That's it for now. Remember, you can get FlowPro Designer help on the FlowPro Designer support page, which is at the Taiko FlowPro website. You'll find a series of these short how to videos plus tips, tricks, and keyboard shortcuts. You can email or call me anytime, even on the weekends. Thanks for watching. See you soon.